it's time to shut down. The car my ex brother in law had, Plum Crazy Purple. He had one in high school and then in later years bought another one and had a custom painted Plum Crazy. Cool car. Sixty-nine Hurstals, 1974 Ford What do you think of this one, Molly? This is gorgeous. Like a 1970 LS5 Corvette. Beautiful red. We need one. <laughs> GTO Judge for 1969, most of them are orange. This one is a rare silver one. Got a four two three nine. Four. 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 Trans Am 1457, 97 miles per hour, beating the GTOs 
$14.99. Your orange color. Uh, is this a Rammer 3 or 4? Do you know? This is a Rammer 3 card. So 366 horsepower, uh, 4 speed, 390 gears. So that means close ratio, 4 speed. And Chris and Larson Smetana from Downers Grove, Illinois, owns the 68 Firebird 400. It's got the 400 HO engine, automatic. It was actually an export car. I don't know where it was exported to, or maybe it was a serviceman who picked it up here. I don't know, but it's not that special to see. Whatever this one's for. in the right lane, 1444, 96 miles per hour. The GTO turned to 1430. That's this Buick GSX from Roberto Vassalau. It's a stage one. It's got 364 gears, which means that Buick speed, no air conditioning. It's a uh, car that's air conditioning. Now, no drag. Oh, it's the old school. He's only since 1996. The Buick wins with a 1450 at 95 miles per hour. The Oldsmobile, 1422. 800 maybe? Okay. So they made about 800 of these cars with this engine. The top GTO engine that year, pretty much the last of the fast GTOs. Going against Morgan, uh, Chamello from Whitmore Lake. Uh, the Hearst Gold, 1435 at 96 miles I think this car is gorgeous. Burgundy and white. Raymer car, meaning 366 horsepower. Now, Christopher Ross has a 73 Firebird with a 455, the regular 455, and not the Super Duty. This is a four speed 342 car. 342 Actually, they're both red lighted, right? It says Bob. Up against Chuck Grinnell at its Humpty Michigan 69 Cobra 428 automatic. That's near Ann Arbor, is that correct? Correct, north of Ann Arbor. Okay. 70 Buick Skylark, which is generally not a typical muscle car, but you can get a few different 78 Z28. Uh, his dad has been a long time participant of this event. My favorite car of his was the T37, the silver car. Remember that? Yes, I do. I actually, I believe he had a 73 view as well. Yeah. Well, I think you're right. Uh, uh, James Van Damme from New Lenox, Illinois has this 454 format in 1970. He wins. 160 horsepower. It's an automatic. The first year for an automatic Z28. He's going against Robert Lattler from Manitou, GCO, it's a tri-power car, four-speed, 390 years. This is kind of like about as good as it gets for 1964 GCO. It's got everything about this car's right. The winner of this one is Olds will be on the left lane, 1370, 101 miles per hour, beating the 13. The Barracuda. And they still had the Formula S package, but they also had the CUDA package, which was like uh, giving the road runner. Mike Siegel Looks like the Barracuda wins. There are six of these with the W31 package, and I love the color. Going against Dave Hefker, a long time participant, usually with a bunch of more subscribers. Top. Not final, but top. And the Buick wins. 
Uh, that'd be 31. Up next, 65 GTO, that's Bruce Hayes from Spring Lake, Michigan. It's a four-speed, 410 rear going against Kurt, uh, Rusty Small, the gentleman selling tires. If you, need to, if you need tires, talk with Rusty. He's got this first old, the 69. He is from Missouri. from Whitemore, Michigan. It's got this 68 GTX. We really should see more 4.4 right here. Don't These are great cars. We should see more of them. Looks like 1374 for the Torino Corona. We'll, we'll see how they run. But in any case, Seth Jones of Marion, Indiana, got the 74 Duster 360, which is the first year for the 360. It's got a 327, I think it's a 300 horse car. Power glide, four tank gears. And the winner of this one, the GTO on the right lane, 1349, 105 miles per hour. It's the 427, 385 horses. He's going against Steve Dorschlag from Eaton, Colorado. Two. Rhonda Clary from Britain, Michigan. She doesn't read this, but she has a regular nice powerful four barrel. Not a W31, but it's a great standard car. Up next, Steve Fires. 50 horsepower. The car that Wow, Steve Byers won with the Chevelle 1341 versus a 1340. Studebaker Avanti. Now, I'm guessing those wheels are Halibrands. I can't say for sure, but they're awesome. Now, Kevin Ross has a 71 GS, I'm sorry, GT37. He's got a 455 GT. optional side scoops and the ram charger hood is like this car has a lot going for it so power windows too yeah 444 barrel it's got a strike to lead also so you see the rt looks like the cornet the right way went for the 1340 102 miles per hour Oklahoma with a 54 Sport Fury. It's a, is it a max wedge or a street wedge? This is a max wedge. Four speed, four tank gears. So that is 426, 425 horses. And like probably, whether it's low compression or high compression, it's at least 11 to 1. These are pretty much uh, just for the racetrack. Now, Eric Marr, Saginaw Mission, has got the 68 Chevelle, L79, L78 rather which is 375 horsepower. Some of these cars, this is one of them. Now the dashboard would be 
Chevrolet, but the seats are Buick. Uh, and Curry, someone that spelled this right. He's from Iowa. How about that? Automatic 390 gears. Clark bumps in. I believe um, uh, Larry's not driving. This this is actually Marcella driving. And it looks like we got a 1316 for Sharon Barr in the Challenger. Larry announcements for the racers. Uh, we have a racer in need. Carl Vitale, the gentleman with the 67 family has a few cars here. You just saw one a moment ago. He's got this 67 SS 396. This is an L78 car. It's 375 horsepower. They made about 600. Of them. They're both 455 stage ones. That means 450 horsepower. Springs, Tennessee. 
got this 69 Camaro 427 car. Do you know this is a Z01 or an L72? This is an L72. turns a 1281 Plymouth Roadrunner with an A12 package which included this funky fiberglass hood which is more efficient from a Ram Air standpoint than any other design He's going to get Charles Lombardi the winner of this one is the Chevelle 1246 placing in a Challenger TA was available for other challengers, but they're very rare. And top cannon red lid. Twelve seventy-five for the charter. We lost twelve sixty for the challenger. Got a four fifty-five. for the Torino, not enough to beat the Buick come next. Adrian Beltram has this Ram Air 4 Firebird. He's from Newmarket, Ontario, Canada, going against Bru Bruno Beltram, his father. These cars are kind of evenly bad. It's just, um, for this race, not quite so much. 1241. 160 miles per hour for the Camaro. Off four tank years, these cars going against Jeffrey Lasapio from Ocala, Florida. 69 Chevy Super Sport. 396. I don't know what horse car this is. And he read the he read lit, giving the nod to the Super Beat 1260. Ohio. He's got the 68 GTO, it's a Ram Air car, they made about 250 top engine option for the GTO that year, going against Jim Larum from Paw Paw, Michigan, with a 69 Chevy Chevelle, this is a Kobo car, 427. Another one. I have Wins of the 12.37, 113 miles per hour, beating the Chevy's 12.49 at automatic with 391 gears. Oh wow, look at this red light. The Firebird giving the nod to the Mopar, and he turns a 12.57, 109 miles per hour, beating the Firebird's 12.25. Up next, we got Mike. Automatic 1969 was the first year for the automatic behind this engine. Got another red light. Gears going against Bob Karakashian, Mr. Four Speed in the 70 Cuda. Wait, is Diggs? No, they call him Mr. Sixpack. What am I saying? I call him Karakashian, Mr. Four Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a real heavy Cuda. He's owned it for 40 years. Chevy Super Sport 396, but look, this one's got a B-pillar between the side windows, which means it's actually based on the 300 Deluxe and not the Malibu, which is rare. This one also has aluminum heads, which means it's an L89. Now, Jeff Morgan's got the 69 Camaro. It's a 427 car, of course. Automatic 410. Miles per hour versus a 1208 
Are you going to do something else or are you going to keep this for a while? I'm, well, I'll, I'll keep it. Oh. 
Decision Knights are GTS, 340, 275 horsepower, giant killer.
That tells you that this car was ordered for one thing, by the original buyer, and that is to go fast. Versus a Le Mans Blue Camaro Super Sport Group 96. 